Actor Jeff Bridges is being treated for lymphoma, and he says thankfully his prognosis is good. The 70-year-old actor said he understands that this disease is very serious, but he believes he is on the road to recovery. In a statement on Monday, he thanked his family, friends, and medical team for supporting him in this and promised to keep fans posted on his recovery. Bridges is a seven-time Oscar nominee known for his roles in Starman, True Grit, and The Big Lebowski. Joining us this morning to talk more about this cancer and how we can prevent it as well as just make sure that we are healthy nowadays is Dr. Scott Ackerman from the Ackerman Cancer Center. Good morning to you, sir. And it seems like good news for Jeff Bridges, at least according to what he's been putting out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's good to see you this morning, Vic. You know, he was diagnosed with uh, malignant lymphoma uh, recently. He announced on, on Twitter. And malignant lymphoma is a bunch of different diseases. We've you've heard of Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and there's malignant lymphoma. So those are two main types. And generally in the elderly patients, um, we see malignant lymphoma more often than Hodgkin's disease. Hodgkin's disease is a type of lymphoma that typically affects um, young adults uh, and, they're, and they're teenagers or young adults. But malignant lymphoma affects people that are older. And it's a cancer of the lymph system, the lymphatics are uh, uh, part of the uh, body's system to fight infections and those sort of things. And um, he sounds very optimistic uh, in his treatment uh, plan. But unfortunately, not for everyone. It's not always such a good prognosis, especially if it takes longer to diagnose something like this. Absolutely. So there's a lot of diversity in the types of malignant lymphoma. Uh, there are some malignant lymphomas that are very indolent, which means it's slow growing and rarely causes death. And there's others that are very, very aggressive and need very aggressive treatment uh, uh, for them. Um, if you don't catch lymphoma early, um, it could spread to other parts of the body. Uh, beyond the lymphatics, it could spread to bones, it could spread to the lungs, spread to the liver, into the spleen. Uh, but caught early, it's uh, very curable. Or if it is one that is a more insolent one, even if those are caught late, uh, those are generally not life-threatening. So, Doc, what should we be looking for? So, people should always be aware of the bodies. I talk about this with breast cancer, with lung cancer, and other cancers. But if you're, if you're concerned about lymphoma, the common signs and symptoms are, are a lump or a mass, either in the neck or the, or the above the shoulder, above the uh, collarbones. Uh, so, so swollen glands or in the armpits, you can have shortness of breath if those are blocking the airway a little bit. Some patients get uh, what we call B symptoms, and these B symptoms are symptoms that we can include fever, weight loss, and night sweats. And if they have those symptoms, it, it's usually associated with a more aggressive type of lymphoma. But as I said, lymph nodes, shortness of breath, fever, night sweats, weight loss, these are all symptoms of either malignant lymphoma and also Hodgkin's disease. Do you go to your primary care doctor or do you go straight to a cancer specialist? No, I think you should go to your primary care doctor because, at least initially, um, because swollen lymph nodes can be related to a variety of things. Um, if you have an infection in your hand, if you cut your hand, you can get swollen lymph nodes in your armpit. If you have a mouth infection, you can get swollen lymph nodes um, in your neck. And, and the swollen lymph nodes... If they're, they're they're usually not malignant, they're usually associated with some sort of infection. It could be a viral infection, um, but if they are malignant, they could be from all sorts of things. And I think the primary care physician is really best um, uh, uh, situated to assess things properly, do a thorough workup, and point the patient in the right direction. Okay, so certainly there's a lot of things that you should look at, and and really you said it best: know your body, understand your body. And if something doesn't feel right, that's when you need to seek that medical advice. Hopefully it's nothing, but there's always that potential. And early uh, intervention and early diagnosis is, is so very important. Yes, as is with all cancers, Vic. Okay, Dr. Scott Ackerman, thank you so much. Saving lives every day. We appreciate you and the rest of your team and uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you, too. We'll be right back.